Good day, everyone, and welcome to Adventures with Parker, coming at you from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania, specifically Knobles. This is an amusement park I've been wanting to visit for so long. It's been high on my bucket list, and uh, it's been consistently rated as one of the best traditional theme parks in North America. So yeah, <laughs> I can I, I can see that already. It's it's very cool. I'm really excited to explore this park and share my experience with you. So. Without any further ado, let the Knobles adventures begin. So one cool thing about Knobles is that there's no admission and there's no real entrance to the park. You're in the parking lot, and then you're not. However, uh, you do have to pay for your rides. So you can either get a ticket book, you know, kind of carnival style, or you can get a ride all day bracelet, which is uh, what I'm looking for now. I'm excited to get on some rides. There's so many cool things, lots of classic attractions, but also some, you know, world-class coasters too. So stay tuned. All right, ride bracelet secured. Let's do some rides. Oh my goodness, you have a paratrooper ride. These are so cool. I've never been on one before, so maybe, maybe this will have to be the first ride I do today. Okay, that was so fun. I've always wanted to do one of those, and yeah, it was everything I would imagine it would be. It was kind of cool too because you were uh, spinning right by the trees, so it you know kind of looked like you were gonna bump right into them. So that was a nice little near miss effect. I always love being a good classic log plume. So much fun. Kind of scary too, like that drop just, it just puts you down at such a steep angle. I also liked how there were a few like rapid sections where your log would pick up some speed just as it's going along. As far as classic non-themed log plumes go, I'd have to say this is one of the best. Okay, I was wondering what this was, but I think it's a uh, show space. Looks like they do a show a couple times a day. Probably some sort of uh, fairy tale theme thing. Very cool. <laughs> I love this little corn dude here. Which reminds me, it is time for lunch. It's past lunchtime actually, and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm very hungry. Unfortunately, the uh, corn dude's restaurant, Backyard Barbecue, doesn't appear to be open. So let's continue on and try to find a place that is. All right, time for our first credit of the day, the Phoenix. This is the coaster I've been most looking forward to doing today. So let's go forth and do. Holy crap, that was insane! <laughs> New favorite wooden coaster, easily. So I rode second to the back, and uh, yeah, that airtime is crazy, especially because it's just a buzz bar, so there's no seat belts. The bar is pretty high off of your lap, so when you go over those airtime hills, you really come up. It's, that was insane. I love that. <laughs> I 
I love that they have an old roller coaster organ. It just makes me think of all the roller coaster tycoon games I used to play when I was younger. Oh my goodness, look at this cute little beaver ride, tumbling timbers. Oh my goodness, Canada's Wonderland needs something like this. That's adorable. And this is cool. It's like bumper cars, but instead of driving the actual cars, you're kind of remote controlling them. I've never seen something like this before. That's so cool. Okay, so this lawn ornament right here is Flying Turns, which is the world's newest and currently only wooden bobsled coaster. It was built in-house by Knobles a few years ago, but unfortunately it's down today, which apparently is a common occurrence. Yeah, I think it's seen more down days than it's seen running days. So hopefully this is a reason to come back in the future. I really hope they get this right up and running because it seems so cool. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's here. <laughs> you can look at it. All right, and for my 75th coaster credit and my second coaster of the day, we're gonna go over and do Twister. Okay, I just got off a twister. That was probably one of the most insane wooden coasters I've ever done. I mean, not that it was rough, like it was fairly smooth and that was in the back row. So, you know, it wasn't bad in that way, but it really does live up to its name. It's so twisty and just so wacky and insane. <laughs> Even the lift hill, it's not a straight lift hill. You go halfway up and then you turn around and then go up the other half. So it, it's really quirky and just, really fun all around. I have to say, I think Phoenix beats it out for me just by a smidge, um, only because of the airtime you get and uh, the way the restraints are. These are more of your classic wooden roller coaster, PTC uh, wooden coaster restraints. But yeah, a fun ride overall. Knobles really crushing the wooden coaster game. Another fun thing about Knobles, they have a classic Flying Eagles ride. Like, you can hear it, it runs on gas. And it looks pretty whippy too, so that's fun. We love a good Whippy Flying Eagles ride. So unfortunately my phone battery is running really low, um, but I'm hoping I have enough juice to show you the Haunted Mansion, which is, apart from the coasters, one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here. I love old school dark rides, and uh, I hear Haunted Mansion is one of the best. Okay, so something to note is that your ride all day bracelet does not work for the Haunted Mansion. You do need to purchase a ticket, which is $3. But from what I hear, uh, I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> Best $3 I ever spent. 
that was genuinely like, oh, that was so awesome. Oh, I've never been scared by a dark ride before, but there were actually some moments that just really made me jump. Yeah, that was fantastic. It, it definitely lived up to the hype and I'm low-key considering doing it again before I leave. I mean, I came all this way. I'm like, I might as well. But yeah, that was just, that was super fun. Okay, so I got a waffle ice cream sandwich with the uh, salted caramel truffle ice cream. It looks so good. And once again, we're passing by the iconic The Loaf. This building that looks like a giant loaf of bread. is <laughs> so cool. So unfortunately, the Skyway is closed today, but normally you can take it all the way up that mountain. But you know what is open? Impulse. This coaster is going to be my 76th roller coaster credit and my third coaster and probably the last one I'm going to do for today. But look at that. That was awesome. That was also my first Eurofighter. Well, I guess it's not a Eurofighter because it's made by Zyre? Whoever made it did a good job. It was really fun. And I mean, that first uh, hill, like the way you go straight up and then straight down right away, uh, so freaky, but so fun. A, a little short though. I wish it was longer, but overall, super fun. And it was after that when my phone died, which was unfortunate since I couldn't film anything more, but in a way, it was actually kind of a blessing in disguise because I could just relax and enjoy the park without the distraction of technology. So, I, you know what? I, I can't be super mad about it. Anyways, after that, I did Skloosh, which is their Shoots to Shoots ride. And honestly, probably one of the best named water rides I have ever come across in my entire life. Just, uh, what an amazing name. And I did their train ride, which was really cool because it went way back in the forest where we actually got to see some live deer. Now, I don't think they were contained in any way. It looks like they had some food or something that attracted them and, you know, kept them in the area. But yeah, as far as I understood, they were just wild deer just chilling out at the back of the park. To end off my day, I rode the carousel, which may not sound super exciting at first, but Knovo's Carousel is one of the very few carousels out there that still does the Brass Ring game. For those of you who don't know, the Brass Ring game used to be on, I think, most carousels out there. It, it used to be pretty common anyways, but essentially, these ride operators will stand on the side and feed in these rings into this chute, and riders who are sitting on the outside of the carousel can lean over and try to grab these rings as they pass by. Now, most of these rings are silver, but one of them is brass. And if you happen to be the one to grab the brass ring, you win the game. And at Knobles, they actually give you some free ride tickets. And then I think you get your name put on this leaderboard or something. Anyways, I happened to be that person, which was honestly just so amazing because I mean, it was my first time at Knobles, my first time on one of these carousels, and it was my last ride of the night. So I couldn't think of a better way to end off my day. And now I guess I gotta go back to Knobles to use those tickets, huh? I mean, they don't expire, but I'm itching to go back anyways because this park is so awesome. I mean, the history is so rich. There's a lot of amazing flat rides and the coasters are all amazing. And I only scraped the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I didn't do any of the museums, which I was really hoping to do, but I goofed up the schedule. I thought the park would be open for another hour and that's when I was planning on hitting up the museums. So yeah, I kind of missed out. I also didn't realize that Black Diamond was a coaster credit and Flying Turns was closed. So 
there, there's some more rides for me to do as well. But yeah, Knobos may not be the biggest, most exciting park out there, but for theme park and amusement park nerds like me, it is such a cool place and definitely a park that everyone has to get to at some point. Anywho, there's still more Pennsylvania parks to check out, so be sure to subscribe for more of my theme park, travel, local, and outdoor adventures. In my next vlog, we'll be hitting up Hershey Park, which is one of my all-time favorite theme parks, so I'm really excited to share that vlog. You can also find me on social media at ADB Parker. And a big thank you to my Patreons for all of the support that you guys give me and this channel. I say it every time, but I'm going to say it again. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, the adventures are calling. See ya! Where am I supposed to go here? Stay tuned. Tiger! Rawr.